What's good? What's going on, man? It's your boy B. We back in this morning with another video. Y'all see the title. Y'all see what we got going on, man. We got the Outer Box XT versus the Outer Box Defender, man. Now, this is for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I did end up exchanging the um the previous xt for the clear one i thought the clear one was even doper man with the uh the black trim around it and the defender is new to the family here now i'm gonna be doing a quick comparison between the two let you know which one you should purchase and the differences between uh one over the other man so real quick i do want to say i did end up exchanging uh or taking off the temper glass screen protector for this particular testing now i do Recommend that you guys choose the tempered glass screen protector, which is I peeled it off right here. I'm gonna have to put a new one on, but I do recommend you guys purchase one of these over the flimsy one. Um, I don't really recommend these, regardless of what brand it is, just the bubbles and stuff. Unless I'm just super terrible of like, you know what I'm saying, just putting on screen protectors. I don't know, but anyways, I know that with this particular screen protector, it's gonna fit on both of the um, Defender cases. You don't have to worry about your screen protector peeling off because the tempered glass screen protector is a lot thicker than the plastic flimsy one. But anyways, man, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick comparison between the two when I get right here. So on the left side, we got the Defender, as I mentioned earlier, and on the right, we got the XT Pro Edition for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I do got the 15 Pro Max in there, all black titanium, man. If you guys deciding which iPhone color you should go with, I'm going to say the all black titanium. Now, they do got that neutral titanium, which is a dope color as well, but I don't think it looks better than the all black titanium. Y'all get in the comments and let me know which was your favorite color out of the, uh, I believe, the four colorways. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and throw on the, uh, the, the uh, Defender case here, which is in this, like, olive type of green, military green, I would say. It looks a lot darker online, I will say that, compared to in person, but it's still a very dope and unique look color scheme, man. They do have a ride to different other colors as well. I believe the Defender retails roughly $10 cheaper than the Pro XT, so I believe it's like $59.99 if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, man. If you guys want to cop any of these cases, y'all already know where to look, man. Descriptions down below, man. All right, so this does come with the three-piece, as you guys see. So you got your top plate here, and the bottom plate with a little cushion in the inside has the Defender Pro Drop Plus in there as well. So you don't have to worry about any damages to your phone if you do end up dropping your iPhone 15 Pro Max by mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this mad buddy in here. Now, I will say this. With the Defender Pro case... I did not have the same issues that I had with my uh, tempered glass screen protector on the Pro XT. With the tempered glass screen protector, I was running into an issue with the bezels of the template for the outer box was pushing against my screen protector and at the same time was pulling it up. So like I was getting those um, big bubbles on my screen protector, which is not a good look for the uh, for the phone, man. You can see it while using the phone as well. But it doesn't look as bad as this one right here. Like I said, man, I might just be bad with putting on screen protectors here, but this is the plastic flimsy one. So you're not gonna run into any issues as far as like, it's peeling your screen protector back using the flimsy ones here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the rubber piece as well. Like I said, this is a three piece Defender case right here. So we're gonna go ahead and slap the rubber grooves on. Make sure you get all the grooves in there. Like I said, I really like this color of the case. It looks real good with the all black. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get this. And it also does have that port piece cover as well for those who are worried about their um, ports getting like dust or anything like that. Now it doesn't cover up the speakers, of course, um, but it does have that, that USB type C port cover right there. So I'm going to go ahead and push that in there. Highly recommend this case right here. Now, there are, as I mentioned earlier, um, I, not in my earlier, but in my other videos, there are some other dope cases out there as well. But I usually tend to go with the out of box case, man. And this one in particular, why I recommend this one is because it has that extra grip in the back. You don't have to worry about this slipping out your hand at all compared to the Pro 
XT, which is we about to flip to here shortly. But I just want to give you guys a good look at the out of box defender in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know thoughts and opinions below about this colorway. Like I said, they do got a variety of different other colors as well. I believe they got like a blue color. They also have like it's like a jean color blue. They also have a um, all black, of course, and I believe they have a. I want to say like a uh, a camouflage type of color with like the orange bezel. Pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope. But anyways, man, get in the comments. Let me know thoughts and opinions. But like the uh, out of box Defender Pro for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, man. I switched cases. Up next, we got the Defender Pro. XT now like I said man this is like one of those clear cases man like it's just <sighs> you can't go wrong with the clear case man I ain't gonna lie at first I was skeptical I was like I don't know but then like once you get your hands on this man and see it in person it's a very dope look now this is one of those two piece cases as you guys see and if you haven't watched that previous video like I mentioned earlier man be sure to go check it out when I had the um it was the same case but it wasn't the uh clear version I believe it was the I want to say it was the all black edition, but anyways, man, it's a two piece, very different from the uh, the the standard out of box out of box defender that we're all used to. You also have that mag safe inside the case as well, which is a huge huge deal. Now, I will say this: this right here is really that determining factor between the both of these. Yes, both of these are going to protect your phone. Yes, both of these are great cases, but this does not have that mag safe in the back. And like I said, man, I tested it in my car with the MagSafe, tried to put it up there with my phone inside, and it just it just doesn't hold, man. Compared to this, sticks like glue. So anyways, man, this is a two-piece setup. You just get your case. You got your buttons and stuff like that on the side. Y'all already seen all this before. MagSafe, all the Pro XT models does come with that MagSafe, so you have no worries there. Just that the Defender Pro doesn't have the MagSafe. So if you're looking at this model right here, it does not have that MagSafe built inside the case but if you go with the xt you got that mag safe in the back man but anyways um let's go ahead and throw the phone inside here stick your phone in there like such make sure it's sitting nice and flush and then here's the tricky part right here so with the template you definitely want to start from the bottom and then work your way up to the top here so we're going to stop start at the bottom here making sure everything is all flush so you want to put the rubber grooves over the template plate here and this is going to be more of a pain to put on compared to the original out of box defender case i will say that look at me i'm over here pressing on all type of stuff all right so now we're just putting the rubber grooves over the template here going around the case as such and like i said man if you're using that tempered glass you will start noticing that it start peeling up your screen protector just due to the thickness of the screen protector and at the same time i believe it sticks out a little wider than the actual plastic film so i don't know if that could be the the main issue but i know it's a it's an issue but anyways man see no worries here with the plastic film screen protector guys nice flush it's not peeling up the screen protector whatsoever. I do got those bubbles as y'all seen, man. That's partly on my end, but nice and flush. And boom, that back part just looks amazing, man. Come on, you can't tell me this ain't fire. Compared to this, man, I don't know. I don't know. You might have to go with the Pro XT, man. Now, I will say this. I do have a better of a grip with the plastic back piece here. I guess like a hard plastic film, whatever you want to call it. I do got a better grip than this compared to the all black edition where it's like a matte finish in the back. Now, this is not a matte finish right here, so it's not as slippery, but the plastic type feel gives me more of a grip than the all black edition. So if you do decide to go get the Defender Pro XT, man, I highly recommend you guys get the clear model regardless of what color phone you get. I will say it does look best with the black on black. Oh, um, if you get the black titanium, I will say it looks better with this particular colorway. I believe my mom have the the commuter um, um, outer box case as well, and it does have the MagSafe. So if you don't want to spend the, I believe this case retails for like sixty nine ninety nine. So if you don't want to spend that, you could um, opt out for the. 
commuter case and it does have that mag safe built in the back and i believe they got a clear model as well but it's, it's not a two-piece so you just like pretty much you just stick your phone inside and you wouldn't have to worry about the screen protector um peeling up as well so that's another case i suggest you guys check out as well if you're in the market um looking for a phone protector i mean a phone case for your iphone 15 pro max or any iphone in general so like i said man this is a highly highly recommended screen protector i highly recommend this but i run into the issue if i put this on it will start peeling up a little bit i'm um, not a huge fan of that but hey i deal with it just because that mag safe in the back i can't go wrong with that mag safe in the back and i wanted a two-piece case so you gotta make some sacrifices somewhere um, like I said, man, if you don't really care about the MagSafe, it's not a huge deal. You don't really use MagSafe. You don't have anything to, like, connect your phone on while you're sitting up in the air or whatnot. Then go with this. Go with this option right here. This is not a bad option as well. Now, I do not think they have the clear version of the uh, the auto box for this one right here, the, the Defender Pro. But this right here. I'm saying you ain't going to get the job done, man. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know which case would you guys opt out for man the defender pro xt or the defender let me know down below in the comments man which one looks better with the iphone 15 pro max like i said i got that black titanium let me know what color um, iphone you guys got in the comments man i'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say and you guys go man iphone 15 pro max defender pro case versus the defender pro xt man y'all get in the comments let me know which case look better, man. As always, appreciate the love, support, man. Highly recommend this version right here over the uh, other model I chose. Well, it's the same model, but just this different than the clear. Like, the clear is fire, and it gives you that extra grip, personally, for me, over the all-matte black finish or the all-matte color finish in the back for the Pro XT, man. Now, these cases are extremely expensive. Like I said, this does retail for, like, $69.99. Compared to this one, which I believe is like $59.99, if I'm not mistaken. So, get in the comments. Let me know which one looks better to you guys. Um, Do you plan on copying one of these out of box cases? If not, which case do you currently dis um think you're going to go with for your brand new iPhone? Or that you're currently rocking for your iPhone 15 Pro Max or iPhone in general, man. Appreciate the love and support. Catch y'all next video, man. Be sure to check out one of the videos at the end of the street. Because it's definitely a banger. I would miss it if I was you.